All right, guys. Today we're going to be re-rigging everything. <clears throat> so, I've got my last bit of line here. I'm going to be re-rigging all of my rods and reels. <clears throat> got some more over here. Really good stuff. So I'm kind of excited about it. every question all right guys almost every video I put out somebody always asks what reel do I use well here you go oh wait there's never a question the classic CLX made by Akuma it is the 300 L or LA uh, either one is a very good reel. There's only a very small differences between the two. Um, I use one of either. So that is the reel that I use. If anyone asks what rods I use, I use exclusively B&M Silver Cap Magnums for all of my anchor rods, the seven and a half or eight footers. Uh, very good. They got a paracord grip on them. Um, stout. I've never broken one of these rods. Uh, the eyes perform well. It's got a good number of eyes on it. Um, one thing, everybody's got kind of a different opinion on this, but the one thing that I really like about these rods is the bend. And you'll see what I'm talking about. When you load it up like this, the bend is um, very even but it does get a little stiffer as it goes back toward the core. What I don't like are some of the rods that are just so stiff and then right at the very end they bend and they look more like this. Um, I like ones that give a good bend on it, nice and even, but still plenty of backbone and plenty of leverage to be able to steer fish around. Um, it makes a five pounder feel good, an 80 pounder feels good. Uh, got a really good look to it and one of the problems you know that I have with people guiding is when you get that much leverage out there on a really big fish it's kind of hard for some people to hold up and I find by getting rid of some of that leverage with a rod like this it's actually a better fight that's just my opinion they're all the rods out there are, um, can be good they're all beneficial and they all can work this is what I like um, I love the look of them. I love the price. I love some of the features, the big hook hold here, the grip. I still like having the trigger on there. That helps with clients and it's comfortable. Um, all around, good rod. If you haven't checked them out, go check it out. B&M, Silver Cap Magnum, excellent rods. These are what I use for my anchoring. I use a sliding sinker uh, snap, just slides on the main line. You can snap on different uh, weights or setups. A simple bead and a barrel swivel. Again, the typical knot I tie. I like to go once through back through, then I wrap around the main line four or five times, then back through that original knot. Oh, I didn't do it right. Hold on here. Back through all the loops down next to the swivel. and tighten up. And I've never had one of those fail. Been very good. Sometimes you gotta kinda wet the line a little bit or get it tightened down. And I use 30 pound. It suited almost everything I've ever needed to do. And I use a 60 pound leader. And one of the reasons I like to use a 60 pound leader is not necessarily uh, 
to break to for breakage resistance more of the problem i have is the catfish's mouths can really eat up a, a light leader that's probably the biggest reason that i use a heavier leader than anything um there's a lot that goes on on that last foot or so of the business end so to me I'd, i have had much better success with a heavier leader okay I use strictly uh, team catfish, double action circles, almost exclusively. Not had much of a reason to change to anything else. Um, and I do a simple, what they call an easy snell. And this works just fine for me. I have not had any issues with it. I simply take this. You don't want to do it this way. You want to insert it this way. And you just pin it down here on the back of the hook. And you'll want to wrap. It's important to note the way you wrap. If you see right here, it's kind of like a sharp edge there. You don't want any line coming in contact with that. And if you wrap this way, that's going to pull up tight against that. So most of the time, if the hook goes counterclockwise uh, or the uh, shank is bent counterclockwise for the uh, hole, you'll want to also wrap counterclockwise around the shank of the hook. And you just keep that down nice and keep them tight like that. And wrap it around seven to nine times. Uh, it doesn't really matter how many times you do it. And then you just simply take the other end and you bring it back through the hook, back out toward the point. And you just simply tighten that up. And then see the way that line lays? Nothing comes in contact with that sharp section. And that's the way to do it. So what's so great about the snell? Well, it's really easy to tie. That's the one thing I like about it. Super, super easy when your hands are cold, wet, slimy. You don't have to deal with anything very particular. It's probably one of the fastest ones to do. Um, it's pretty strong. It looks good. And it always keeps the hook perfectly aligned with the line. Um, you never have to worry about a knot sliding up and down around there. It always keeps it just perfect. And it also has this trigger effect that as the hook pulls into the corner of the fish's mouth, it rotates and that thing will just literally like this, just act as a trigger. And that's called the easy snell. Good looking knot, serves its purpose. Haven't had any trouble with it. All right, guys, we've got, uh, we're on our fifth one. We've got one more reel to go, all spooled up. Now, um, one thing I wanted to mention, too, is about uh, the size of the hooks. People ask what size to use. Although, oftentimes, the hook kind of depends on the size of the bait you're using. One good rule of thumb is most large catfish, uh, the blue catfish and flathead, have a jaw... Um, roughly the size of your thumb. So you should be able to put your thumb down in between the hook. If you can't quite do that, it's probably not a big enough hook for most large catfish. Smaller catfish is one thing, but if you're after trophies, you wanna have a hook about, uh, is about this size, one that you can slide your thumb between. All right, folks, I wanted to show you something I'm really excited about. These are the new uh, Trophy Ridge planer boards I picked up at the Catfish Conference. And uh, they are going to be great because I've been looking for a better planer board than what I've been using and got to try these things out once and man, they are awesome. So I'm excited about this. Um, we'll be doing quite a few of these trips probably in the upcoming months here. Uh, using these and we will do a video showing a review on them how to use them and how they work but I really don't expect anything to go wrong with them but I want to show it to you guys folks I don't know it's a 70 plus pound fish along with one that's probably about 35 or 40 unbelievable Unbelievable.